In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Docs as a really effective prompt management system, especially if you're actually sharing prompts around your organization. And this came about through a previous video where we actually saw how Google Docs could be used as a type of memory bank for AI content while we're running an automation. And that led to this one. So let's jump in and actually have a look at how it operates. What do we have? actually triggering the scenario is just a variable and this is a nice easy way to test automations without necessarily having to set up a full scenario and a trigger etc we just have a variable name as prompt and the variable value is create a youtube video description from a transcript and what we're actually doing in this automation is going to be feeding through that value with a prompt that we're bringing from google docs into an AI module and then bring collecting that output. So what is the prompt that we're actually collecting? So we, for this example, we're going to do a prompt generator. So this is the actual prompt. This is stored in a Google Docs. And as I said, if you're an organization, you could have a shared folder where you're continuously updating and iterating on these prompts. It is a continual process. As things change, we're continuously improving them. You may find that you get a extra example that you'd like to add to this and instead of jumping into the automation to do this you could have a, a google doc so this is the prompt that we're actually going to be extracting from google doc we're then going to be feeding that both into open ai so what i've done is i've extracted the text content from the google doc and i'm using it as the system prompt and then for the user prompt i just have an input and the initial variable that we saved at the beginning. Last step is inserting the AI output into a new Google Doc that we're calling prompt, created prompts, sorry, <laughs> created prompt. So the idea is we could replace this initial trigger to be a, a Slack channel message, a Google Sheet, an Airtable, any type of trigger that's gonna start this flow, we then select the specific prompt that it's retrieving from a Google Doc, feed it into an open AI and output it. I'm just doing a Google Doc, but again, you could populate this back into an app table or Google Sheet. So let's give it a run. First part is just setting the variable. Second part, if we see here, the text contents, it is collected that prompt. Third part is feeding it through into open AI. So if we look into the input, we can see that the user system message is that prompt and the user message is create a YouTube video description from a transcript. And then we have an output here in the choices and it's created a prompt. So we'll see the last stop would have been put it in this created prompts document and we've got act as your content strategist and video description expert who has been tasked with creating a compelling youtube video description from a transcript it's got the goal it's got the context it's got some instructions so from here you could develop a full prompt library in a shared google drive that not only can be referenced within your organization by staff or volunteers that are using it, but also fed into automations, which I think is pretty cool. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, as always, I continue expanding and seeing new things that we can create along the way. Love your feedback and questions. So if you've got any, please do let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.